Hey guys, Jess from Win Win here. Just wanted to go through a little chat with you today about kind of rules and a type of routine to follow if you're doing night shift. I know a lot of people bang on and say, oh, we hate doing night shift, it sucks, like we don't wanna do it, it's so hard, you never get any sleep. And that can be true if you don't do it right. Uh, but I love night shift. I did it for three years. I did two and one of night shift and I absolutely loved it. I had an awesome crew, the best times. And once I got into that routine, I really slept well and felt good. Um, I think that's the key is getting that routine sorted so that when you fly home, you're not wasting that first day or two uh, getting back into a sleep habit or you're so exhausted because you've barely slept the whole time that it takes you two or three days to actually recover and you feel like you waste half of your break. Um, so that is the first point we're going to talk about is having a routine. Um, finish work, get to the gym, go to the wedding, have a couple of drinks, go back to your room, watch TV, whatever your kind of winding down feels like and like facilitates the best sleep for you, do it. Um, just make sure you stick to that routine. Um, your body soon learns that, that, you know, that's the build up to sleep. That's having good sleep hygiene is to actually have that routine before bed. Uh, sending yourself those signals like, okay, yep, this is the bedtime routine. This is what we do. And after this, we're going to sleep. So whether it's read, watch TV, shower, have a couple of drinks, um, maybe call someone at home, have a chat, catch up before you go to sleep, call the kids, whatever you need to do. Um, do that little routine, wind down, try and switch off from your day and, you know, go to bed. Um, having good sleep hygiene. It's a big thing and I'm sure you've heard people use that phrase before. So it's basically all of those things that lead up to you having a good sleep and all of the boxes that you can tick to say, yes, this is going to facilitate me having a good sleep. Not eating a really heavy, heavy meal before uh, within two hours of going to sleep. Not drinking too much alcohol or being drunk when you go to sleep. Drinking a lot of water, staying really well hydrated throughout the day and like before sleep. Uh, and also making sure your environment is comfortable. So aircon's not too hot, not too cold. Um, I'm sure everyone on site that has worked a night shift has got home in the morning and forgotten to turn their aircon on and woken up cooking at about one o'clock in the afternoon because I know I've done it plenty of times. Um, so just checking little things like that, having that good sleep hygiene, making sure you've got a comfy pillow, you've got your comfy clothes you like to sleep in, you know, your sheets are nice if they're ones that you've bought from home. If they're not, sorry, <laughs> camp sheets are gross. Um, yeah, just making sure you've got that all organized. Um, make sure you eat well, try to eat well. I know you probably hear about this from a lot of people, safety everyone. Um, try and eat pretty clean while you're at work. You're absorbing so many toxins from the dirt and from the water and from, you know, just the environment. Um, it's really important to try and eat as clean as you can and try and like, you know, keep your body functioning and not feeling too heavy and blah and full of sugar and gross stuff. Um, again, stay hydrated, drink as much water as you can, filtered water if you can. Um, a blackout window. Some people say yes, some people say no. Look, whatever works for you. I had to have a blackout window. I could not sleep without one. Uh, like having the sun shining in or having light, I was like, oh no, I need complete darkness and complete silence and I need it to not be too hot. So whatever works for you. Um, if you're on site and you are doing night shift and your windows aren't blacked out, just ask the girls from the kitchen or somewhere or the front desk admin girls if they've got some tin foil and you can just stick tin foil to your window with a little bit of water and it works a treat. Um, <clears throat> now, the cleaners in the area. I, I'm, I hear people all the time saying to me, oh my God, the cleaners woke me up or the cleaners busted into my room when I was asleep on night shift and they should know I'm on night shift. There's a sticker on the door. Look, they're busy, it's flat out, it's getting hot, like, you know, they are working and doing their job and they're just taking orders from someone else. So they've been told probably by a higher up that there's no one in that room or that it's day shift. Be nice to the cleaners and the utilities and the housekeeping staff. Be nice to them. <laughs> hey girls, guys, sorry you've woken me up, I'm actually on night shift, like, you know, thanks so much for all you do. You guys do an awesome job. Make friends with them because if you're getting moved to you, they could move you to a better room. Like you just don't know this way that they will have. You could also end up with better sheets. Your room will be clean beautifully all the time. You know, they could tell you, they could hook you up. 
just look after them and they will look after you. They will not wake you up. They will make a point of telling the other girls they work with on other shifts, hey, that's a night shift there. Look out for them. They're a cool guy. They're a cool chick. Like, just be friendly and be nice to them. Don't storm out there in your jocks and go off your head. <laughs> We've seen so many people do that on site and it's not becoming and it just makes them think you're a bit of a dick and they're not going to help you out and you're going to keep getting woken up or getting your stickers taken off the door. So be nice to the cleaners, tell them you're on night shift, be polite about it, be friendly, stick a night shift sticker on your door. If all else fails and you're really struggling to sleep, try some melatonin. Um, you can get it over the counter at the chemist. It's really good because it's actually a um, naturally occurring chemical in your body. So it just tells your body it's time to sleep. And if you do all of the other things in conjunction with taking the melatonin on night shift, it can be that one thing that will just take it over the edge for you. Um, if you are really struggling with doing nights and you're not getting sleep and you're feeling fatigued, talk to someone about it. Talk to a supervisor, talk to a colleague. Um, maybe nights just aren't for you. Um, most people can make it work no matter how tired you are, but it is also a safety issue. So make sure you chat to anyone. Um, thanks for listening to my talk about uh, night shift and sleep hygiene and all that other boring stuff. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to contact us at info at winwin.com.au or join our Facebook group or follow our Instagram for more. Thanks.